Hi, welcome to TechCoro.Civil. In this class, we are going to deal with uh, GIS, that is nothing but Geographical Information System. To deal with GIS, we have so many softwares available in the market. Out of that, the major one as well as the free and open source software is the QGIS that stands for Quantum Geographical Information System. Okay, before going to that, uh, what do you mean by GIS? What is the use of that one? Where we are going to make use that one? Whether GIS is limited to maps, data, analysis or the apps? In conclusion, we can say in simple words, it is a framework to organize, communicate and understand the science of our world. Okay. Here we are going to take one task that is nothing but creating the map. But what will be the workflow to create that map in QGIS? Here we have five simple steps like adding the reference map, then creating the shape files and modifying its properties, then creation of map and exporting that map into a image as well as the PDF file. In the fourth step, creation of the map, again we come across five simple steps like adding the features, north direction, title, legend and the scale. Well, without any delay, we will move on to QGIS to carry out this workflow for the particular task. Hi, here we are going to create the map. For that purpose, we need the reference image. Here I am going to take my institution, Savidya Institute of Technology campus as the reference image. Step 1, adding the reference image, go to the layer then add layer, then click on add raster layer, then select the image which you taken from the Google Earth or the Google Maps, then click open. Just click OK. Then step 2, adding the shape files, go to the layer menu, then create layer, new shape file layer. Here we have three types of shape files like point, line and the polygon. Select the polygon, give any name. Just I am going to give it as A, click on add to field list, click OK. Then it will ask you to save that shape file, then create one folder. I am going to create one, save that file with particular name. Here I need that shape file or the polygon for the creating the boundaries of that buildings. So I am going to give it as just buildings, click save, then click on the yellow color pencil that is uh, toggle editing then click on add features then create the boundaries here i'm going to create the boundaries here click around the building then right click then id you can give it as a number just one name here it is a boys hostel just type it then click OK. Then again this one, this building, left click. Once it is done, right click, ID2, then name, it's a boys hostel mess. Just I'm going to give it as BH mess. Click OK. Then the college campus, click. Right click, ID3, name, it is the main building. Click OK. Then here we have another building. Right click, ID4, name you can give it as mechanical and civil lab wing. Click OK. Then here we have the canteen. Click OK. Then here we have the girls hostel.
click OK. Once it is done, then we will click on the layer, then create layer, new shape file layer. Then again, I am going to take the polygon, just give any name, click uh, add to field list, click OK. Here, I need this uh, polygon shape files to create the boundaries of the playground. So, name it as playground. Click on save. Then select that playground. Click on yellow color pencil. Then click on add features. Then draw the boundaries around the playground. Right click. ID 1, name, I am going to give it as main playground. Click OK. Then again we have the basketball poke court. So create the boundaries around that. Right click, ID 2, name, it's a basketball court. Click OK. Then, once it is done, then we will go to the layer, create layer, new shape file layer, and here I am going to select the line. Name, you can give it anything. Just type A, add to field list, click OK. And I need this line shape file for marking the roads. So, just type roads for that. Mark the road, select the roads, then click on yellow color pencil, click on add features, then draw the roads. Then right click, ID 1, name give it as road, then click OK. Next, we will go to the layer, create layer, new shape file layer, then I will click on the point, then name A, add to field list, click OK. Then I need this one to mark the special features like we have this Vishveshwaraya statue in front of our college building. I need to show that one. So, I am going to call that one as uh, special features. Just click save, select, click on the toggle editing, click on add features. Then uh, just I am going to mark it at this place. Then ID, let it be one, name, I'm going to call that one as Vishveshwaraya statue. Click OK. The second step is over. Next, move on to the third step. That is modifying the properties of the shape files created. Now click on the first point shape file, right click, then go to properties. Here we have so many things, but for the beginner purpose, we are going to change only the styles as well as labels. Go to the styles and click on the color here to change the color. I am going to select red color. Just click this forward arrow button, then click OK. Then size, let it be some 4. Then the pattern whichever the pattern you need, select capital, then go to the labels, click on no labels to the show labels, then label width, go to the right hand side, click on the drop down menu, 
in that we have two option 1 2 3 and abc 1 2 3 you are going to get the id abc you are going to get the name so click on abc to get the name then if you want to change the font style font height or whatever it is placing you can change it here i don't want to change anything let it be default values click on apply click ok here we can observe the width changes as well as that name appears then we will go to the roads right click then properties go to style then go to the pattern i am going to select the road pattern here road pattern let it be around near to 1.5 then click on the color then around brown color click ok then go to the labels no labels to show labels then label with right hand side drop down menu select abc then click apply click ok once it is done then go to the playground right click then properties style then color this color then click ok then go to the labels show labels label with drop down menu select abc click apply click ok then go to buildings right click properties then style then uh, click on the color here i am going to select light green okay click okay then labels no labels to show labels label with then select abc then click apply click okay it's done once it is done we can remove our reference image we have the checkbox just untick that one then we will move on to the fourth step that is creating the map for that go to project then new print composer give any name i'm going to give it as one click ok we got another window here we have five steps step one adding the features for that uh, go to the add new map click then uh, click here and then hold the left mouse button and uh, drag this box and leave it we got our map then if you want to change any properties here then you go to the right hand side click on the item properties then you can change it here i need the boundary around that one frame then i will go to frame then okay then i will go to the background click on this arrow then i am going to change the color let the color be this one okay click ok then if you want to move the content inside of this boundary then go to the option known as move item content click on it then click inside then make use of your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out then by using your mouse place it here i am not going to worry about the roads here i need the features once it is done then move on to the second step that is north direction then below that one we have add image select then just draw one small window here then go to the item properties then the second option search directories click on that wait for 30 seconds then you are going to get so many icons in that fourth row we have north direction icons select the north direction then we have different icons here i am going to select any one of that one then if you want to change any properties like it may be color background or anything you can change it here okay here i am going to select fill color let it be yellowish click okay then outline color 
click OK. Then if you want the rotation of the image, you can give the rotation here. Then if you want the frame, you can give it. Then background also, just we will leave as it is. If you want to change the size of that one, then uh, make use of this uh, grip points to change the size. Let it be small only. Then we will give some rotation here. Okay, it's a random rotation. Once it is done, then we will move on to the third step here that is adding the title. Click on this option, add new label, then draw a rectangle here. Then go to the right hand side, item properties, select this QGS font, delete it. Here I'm going to write SVAT campus. Then here the size is so small. If you want to change the size and the font style, click on this font. Then select your particular font style. Then select whatever the options you need. Then here I am going to make it bold and give the size 28 is enough. Then click OK. Then if you want to change the font color, you can change it. Here I am going to give it red. Click OK. Then if you want the frame around that, you can give it. Once it is done, we will move on to the fourth step that is adding the legend. Go to the option add new legend. Click. Then uh, draw a box here. We got the legend. If you want to change uh, anything, you can change it here. Here, I will uh, untick this option auto update then i don't want this svat campus reference image here since i am not taken in this map select that then click on this subtract icon okay then if you want to change the font styles then click on the fonts click on title font make it bold and let it be around 20 click okay then if you want to change the font style of this, then click on the item font. Then uh, select the font size as around uh, 16. Then click OK. Then move it wherever you want. OK. Then if you want the frame around that, click on the frame. Then if you want to change uh, the background color of that one, you can change it here. Uh, let it be white only. Click OK. I will place it here, somewhere here. Then the last step, adding the scale. For that, click on this option, add new scale bar. Just single click. Now, here we have so many segments to the left as well as to the right. If you want any changes, you can change it here. Go to the item properties. Then segments column in that to the left we have two segments make it one and to the right we have four segments make it two then select this then place it wherever you want click ok if you want any border around that you can draw the border also okay this concludes the overall fourth step that is creation of map then the final step is exporting this map into a image file or the pdf file for that go to the composer then click on export as image then select your particular folder where you need then give the file name i'm going to give it as svat campus then click on save let the 300 dpi resolution is enough then click on save Okay, now you are going to get the image of this map. Then if you want to save it as the or export it as PDF, go to Composer, then export as PDF, then select your particular folder, then give any name, let it be SVAT, then click on Save. Okay, and the most important thing after this is 
if you want to make use of this layout for the different tasks then you can save it as a template for that go to composer then click on save as template then select your particular folder then give the file name svat template then click on save this concludes the task completion according to the workflow as stated earlier thank you hi welcome to e learning classes this is the platform meant for civil engineering students and the professionals well you may think uh, what is the use of uh, watching this uh, video series provided by this particular channel techguru.civil well you are going to learn from a to z that is from beginner level to the advanced level hi welcome to my channel techguru.civil here you are going to learn uh, almost all the civil engineering softwares the difficult subject laboratories and uh, most importantly you are going to get the knowledge of uh, present day technology in the field of civil engineering as well as inventions and discoveries in civil engineering domain if you not yet subscribed to our channel please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive the instant notification whenever we upload the new video thank you